Hello students, how are you all? Hope you are all well. So today we are going to learn a new prose from your English textbook. The name of the prose is Flying Together. Okay. This story was taken from the tales from Pansatantra, the wise old bird. Okay. So let's read the prose Flying Together. In the forest there was a big tree. Okay. So in the tree top live some geese. One day the wise old goose noticed a creeper growing at the foot of the tree. So the old goose said, do you see that creeper? Let us destroy it. Then other geese said, why must we destroy it? Then the old goose said, my friend, that little creeper will soon grow as it creeps up this tree and it will become thick and strong. Then other goose said, what of that? What harm can a creeper do us? Then the old goose said, don't you see? With the help of that creeper, it will be possible for someone to climb this tree. A hunter can come up and kill us all. Then other we say, well, there is no hurry. The creeper is very small. It would be a pity to destroy it now. So again the old goose said, destroy the creeper when it is still young. Now it is tender and you can cut it easily. Later it will become hard and you will not be able to cut it. Then the other guy said, we will see, we will see. Then as the creeper grew and it began winding its way up the tree, stronger and stronger it became until it was as strong as a thick rope. One morning when the geese had gone out in search of food, a hunter came to the forest. So this is where the wild geese live, so the hunter thought in his mind. When they come back in the evening, I shall catch them, he thought in this way. The hunter climbed up the tree with the help of the creeper and spread his net there. Then he thought, I will come tomorrow morning and to take the geese. In the evening time, the geese returned home. They did not notice the net. As they flew into the tree and trap, they struggled hard to get out but could not. Then all the geese said, help, help, cried the geese. We are caught in the hunter's net. Oh, what shall we do? Then the old geese said, don't make a fuss now, said the white old bird. Long ago I told you to destroy the creeper but you did not. Now see what has happened. Tomorrow morning the hunter will come back and kill all. Then the other he said, we were foolish. We are very sorry. We did not listen to you. Please tell us what to do. Then listen carefully. The old wise bird said, when the hunter comes, you must all pretend to death. Just lie still. The hunter will not harm that bird. He will throw us to the ground. When last of us has thrown down, we must quickly get up and fly away. So in the morning, the hunter came to the tree and climbed up. He looked at the geese in the nest. They are all dead, he muttered to himself. He threw them out of the net one by an one. When all the geese were out of the net, the old geese said, fly together. And all the geese flew away and saved themselves from the hunter. So the hunter was taken by surprise. The geese had escaped. So what is the moral of this story? Okay, what we learned from this story? So we have learned if our parents, this is or if our teachers tell us to do something on time, we have to do according to them. If we do not do according to them, then we will suffer like the geese. 
So we must obey and respect our parents and our teachers. So let's see what is the summary of this story. The summary of the story as like it. The story is of a folk of geese living together in a tree. One day the wisest geese of the folk saw a creeper is going on the branch of the tree. He told other group members about it and told them to remove the creeper in its early because if the creeper grew big, the hunters will spot them and catch them. All the others ignored him and did nothing. One day, the hunter spotted the creeper and set a net to trap all the geese. Next morning, the geese did not realize that they are trapped. After realizing, they all regretted for not listening to the wisest geese. The wisest geese thought of a plan. He told all other members to act that. When the hunter arrived so that the hunter would throw them on the ground as they will be no use for him. And after the last geese fall on the ground, everybody will flee away. Next day, the hunter arrived and after seeing those dead, he threw them on the ground. The plan worked and all the geese flew away or flew together. So there are some difficult words we have found in this prose. Let's see. Geese means plural form of goose, large web footed bird. Then creeper, creeper means plant that needs support to grow usually along a wall or a tree. Then winding means go in circular spiral course. Then muttered means spoken in a low tone. Then flap means move wings up and down. So thank you. Hope you are all like it. You have very well understand this prose. Thank you.